Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to some Feed the Beast. So this is going to be part two of the diamond machine contraption that I have going. Um, what is this? The initial equalizer needs its own MFE to work. Uh, I improved your compressors. They can handle 128 EU per tick now how the hell did you whoever did this i just want to say thank you um probably it's it was probably blue or peter so obviously i'll thank them uh when i obviously when i'm done but how did they impress oh wow transformer upgrade overclocker overclocker and energy storage upgrade okay so i'm guessing they that's how they upgraded it and I don't understand what this means because um, the industrial equalizer needs its own MFE to work. Well, from what I know, um, the MF I was just going to straight shoot up like glass fiber cables, and and um, oh, and it's raining. Wow, it's started. Uh, um, I was just going to take the. The uh, what you call it? Uh, the hybrid solar panels and just use glass fiber cables, pop them up, and that would obviously give me power. So I'll obviously have, like I said, I'll, I'm gonna be doing power very very last because I don't want this thing to blow up. Um, like obviously when I'm building, I don't want it to blow up. So that's gonna be very very last. And yeah, um, but our next part for today is going to be the last final part. Um, it's basically makes the flint and obsidian by itself uh, the only thing we're gonna have to do is power it and we'll build it so actually luckily today i had some time to recreate it um from what i've seen on the internet on how to set up the the uh the like all the pulverizers and um the magma crucibles and the ignis extruders and the aquas accumulator I basically learned how to set them up and I think I found the smallest form factor for this build um, it's really compact it's about one two three four five by three or five like it's like it's like five by five by I think three actually no probably like more than that but it's really it's smaller it's way smaller than what I've seen um, and it doesn't have to be super huge uh, from what I've seen People are overdoing the size. I don't know if it's maybe because what I've watched were tutorials and just simple builds. You know, that could be that could be the reason. So, uh, but yeah, with that being said, let's start off the build. Um, again, I might have to go back and forth between my single player world and whatnot. But I'm going to try and do this by my hand, by myself just now and get this done. So I know I'm going to have to do this. There's going to be a, I need a gold water pipe and did I screw up already? Uh, please tell me this will not break. Okay. I got it back. Um, let's see. Uh, let me see. So if I do, okay. So if I do this, water goes there. Break this. Do I have a shovel? Yes, I do. Uh, shit, I need dirt and I need to place this right here. So what I'm doing is this is going to be where the water is for our machine. And let me get jetpack. So water is obviously used to fill this machine in. And I'm going to basically fill up every side that I possibly can. Uh, just because uh, when you have this at like uh, this machine or this device at max water consumption, it goes really fast. So that is that. 
Um, here is our configuration. Um, what I like to do on some of the machines, I like to just make them all blank. Um, because if you look at this, you have three that are, that are identical and then you have two that are solid or, you know, they don't have a line. Well, the things with the lines are the sides. So this is the left, this is the right. Um, hopefully you can see my mouse. My mouse should be enabled, so you should be able to see it. Um, but I'll click it. This is left, this is right, this is top, this is bottom. And then this is the back. It'd be kind of cool if they labeled it, to be honest, but yeah, that's that. So we have the left, the right, the bottom, and the back. Actually, I guess the, yeah, because the water outputs and inputs, it doesn't really matter. They're all on. But if you had, like, a different machine, it's the same concept. So the one machine that I didn't do was, or the parts that I didn't, didn't do, is anything waterproof. But I have some right here. Yay! Why did I have... Oh, yeah. I was going to say, why did I have these? But no, the reason why I have them is because of the magma crucible... Or the magma test racks that I had. So here is our water generating part. Uh, we now want to do our igneous extruder. Um, again, with the same thing. Uh, we're going to have to actually use obsidian. So I'm going to click that. Again, I like to, or no, can I just do this? Blue, right click, there we go. That's a lot faster. Okay, so how this works, the bottom, uh, this is the bottom. We need that to be blue. Blue is our water and it's simply filling up right now. So there you go. And you see how fast it is? Um, I've done a little testing. One, one block of water only fills up one at a time. If having more than like two, it fills it up like a thousand times faster. It's Really weird, but it works. So I just like to do all of them. Um, so yeah, that's that for now. So obviously now there's nothing here. Our next thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna need a magma crucible. Um, this I can set up. I need to put this in a certain spot. That's gonna be right here. So now with this magma crucible, actually no, I need to put it Again, I'm hoping I can break this. Okay, cool. I think I have to put it on this direction specifically. Okay, so what we're going to do is this will now create our lava. Once it's powered, it will fully function. Uh, in the blue will be cobblestone. The cobblestone uh, basically melts down into lava. So that's your comparison. Now we can use netherrack and whatnot, but this is all I saw for this type of thing. So I'm using it. There might be, like I said, there might be better ways, might be better functions for this um, design, but this is what I learned and this is what I've been working on. So I'm keeping with it. Uh, but yeah, getting back to the story, uh, right click all of these. Okay, so lava, we want it to be orange and we want it to go left. Lava will go in here. And we want the back of the machine to be blue. So that's the back of the machine. Here, and then, okay, so yeah, that's that. And now we need an input. And I'm my, the rest of the machine is behind here. So we do this, and we click blue, or we get blue. So now anything coming from blue, so you saw everyone else is not colored, blue will be our cobblestone. So I need some gold pipes. And again, I don't have any. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have some gold pipes. Um, trying to remember. Uh, see, what I had is I had it one here. Then I had a, I had a stone or cobblestone um, pipe. And then here I had two more. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is there's going to be... Uh, a machine here, a machine where my head is, and another machine. And it's going to kind of loop around. But the problem is, is that I can't have them all connecting because cobblestone is going to come out of one machine, and then gravel is going to come out of another machine, and then it's going to like kind of loop around. So because I wanted to go with a very, very small form factor, I kind of had to keep it like this. Um, actually, I think I could have moved... I think I have this up a little farther than normal. Maybe it, no, it, that's weird. Maybe I, I thought I, okay. 
So maybe I can adjust this maybe a little for this world because I thought I had this much space or I don't know. And let's just deal with it. So yeah, this is going to be where this is. And then, okay, so what we need is we need our pulverizers. Uh, they have to be in a certain direction. So I think that's, I put them in this direction. Because this is the max output, our engines are going to be right here. So that's going to give the max output. And I'll be right back, hopefully getting rid of this water, uh, the rain, and the, the, the darkness. Okay, so I'm back, and I got rid of the... Well, yeah. Um, so yeah, this is going to be... There's going to be a pipe here that I'm going to have to obviously go make. And then we're going to have our Ignis Extruder. And bam. Now, the cool thing about the Ignis Extruder, all we need to do is get some water and lava. Um, basically, you put water, uh, the water will be here and the lava will be here, and it automatically makes cobblestone. It doesn't need power or anything, it just makes cobblestone. Um, but the side effect with that is that you can't kind of let it run out, uh, or you can't just let it run for days. So that is why I'm going to be using my um there should be a I, I think i made a void pipe for mike and um he he kind of had he has a he has a similar machine running in his house and it was well it was running and it didn't stop so i made him i made him a void pipe but he uh, usually just disables the machine so i'm gonna go and grab the void pipe and i'll be right back maybe get the other pipes as well so be right back Okay, so now that I got my pipes, uh, luckily when I made the original void pipes for Mike, it actually made like I think eight, so he had seven left. Um, that's gonna go right here, so that's gonna be that. Uh, then we're gonna use a cobblestone pipe that gets glitched, and then a stone pipe. The stone and cobblestone do not connect, so this is good for like any sorting machines and whatnot if you did not know about that. So this is semi set up. So this will receive the cobblestone. Um, usually the co the thing I actually don't like about this um, using a void pipe is what happens if this is not full and this is not full, items will still go into the void pipe. I don't like that at all. Um, I actually was watching someone stream and they had these like weird magic, magical pipes like I don't know how it did it, but obviously the pipe, the way that's designed is actually it sorts out your items. It will pull items from from the chest that it's connected to just because it's the mod. And it was really cool. Um, I forget what the mod was called, but I really wish that um, Feed the Beast was to adapt it because I think it would be very, very useful. Because sorting and whatnot, you don't even need to sort. You just have a main pipe and it it, it receives if you type in like diamonds and you click on the diamond and you click on like two it will receive two diamonds so you don't even need to sort anything you just throw everything in chest and it pulls it uh, really it was like some sort of sorting pipe or I don't know I forget what it was called but it's not in feed the beast that kind of sucks but yeah getting back to the, uh, the, the 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 thing here at back in hand so cobblestone is going to be on the left um, I think this is kind of set up already. I just got to adjust some things. So nothing's coming out of the bottom and nothing is coming out of the top. Um, we just need the back. So I'm pretty sure sand is red and I'll be making an ender chest for here. Obviously I don't have any or a chest. I'll, you know what? I'll just use a chest for now. I'm hoping I have some. And that was my last chest. So that's going to go there. That's going to be our mate, our, our set, our quick storage for sand. Our gravel is yellow and that's in the back. So that's yellow. This will go over to this machine right here. And that's going to be the back. So let's close all of this. So I like to do this. I just like to start off clean. Um, I personally think they could do that a little 
easier but obviously i i know where everything is so maybe some people that don't know about it might you know get thrown off um but uh see now here it connects but it really won't send anything that way so we don't have to worry about this but we do need to set up the back so this is the back and that's going to be that um then we're the gravel will be will be pulverized into gravel and we're going to send that up we're going to put an ender chest here that ender chest will then be set uh over here and i believe this is the black ender chest and then this will be where the gravel gets sent because uh, in the crafting table will be gravel and then the coal coke coal dust I think I said that last episode when I was editing. I was like, face palm, that's not what I want to say. But, uh, yeah. So, our our flint will go here. Then, our, we're going to have another ender chest right here. Because the top of this will be our output for the obsidian. And then that will go under here. And the obsidian will pull um, to craft the coal ball. Or whatever, whatever part of the process is. And yeah, and then it will just continue on and then eventually get compressed and go into here. And this will be our diamonds. So, yeah. Uh, let me just double check that this is all set up. So water is already there. That's working. Uh, that's the back. That will, that will do that. That will do that. Okay. Then we have cobblestone, gravel going through the back. Sand going to the right. Then we have the gravel coming to here. The flint going to the chest. Now, I don't know if it pulverizes into anything else, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, you know, hold on. There we go. Yeah, so the pulverizer only makes flint. So that's good to know. And there's the cobblestone. So sand and gravel. So there's a 10% of getting gravel. Now, I don't know if there's, you know, it doesn't look like there's any, like, you know, t certain machines that you can use or, like, upgrades to make it have a better chance. Doesn't seem like there is, but this is all set up. Our Inuit extruder. I won't put any lava or water in now, but we need to set up the bottom. So, this is the bottom. And there. You don't need to set up. Uh, the water or the lava side because once you place in the water and lava it's done nothing has to be done so it's set up and we're done we can you know set it and forget it i might be quoting that from a cooking device but it's exactly what you do uh but i think and the reason why you do uh, the, the infinite water and the lava for the ignis, ignis extruder is because it uses up the lava and water so you have to keep refilling and the cobble will generate, it will go into the pulverizer, and the magma crucible. Magma crucible will give us lava. So I'm hoping that this is clear. Um, our next things that we need to do is set up the power. Bam, 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 bam. And now, we, now you know what I've been meaning about small form factor <laughs> this is probably the smallest i've ever gotten this device it's small it, it's very very close together um so yeah that, that's that um the next thing i'm gonna need to do is get some redstone and our devices so i know that or right, let's just do doop -a -doop -a -doop, boop -a -doop. got our glass fiber cable and again i'm gonna have to probably remove Oh no, I already took them, didn't I? Yeah, I think I already took those. So I'm going to have to create more glass fiber cables to obviously set this fully up. But uh, this is, that's the power. Um, then we use, um, I'm thinking the hybrid on top of here. And then that will fully power that. So, yep, yeah, we're basically done, to be honest. We just need some power and some switches and i think we should be good i got my void pipe yep it's down there and i just need some redstone 
and some straight up power. So I'll go to sleep and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have some redstone torches. Um, forget how I did this. You know what? I'm not going to worry about the design. I'm going to leave this all like bare bone for now. That will power that. That will power that. There's going to be an ender chest there. So I know that we're going to do that as a wall. Oh yeah, now I remember. I remember the design I had. And then I had that on this machine. And then I had a redstone on this block. Because then I had switches that if I want to turn this machine off, I can just do that. Or hit a, hit, hit a switch on this block and then it'll turn it off. So that will be there. And... Uh, shit, I need one more. No! Thought I had enough. I guess not. So let's break this down. Make one more torch. So one will be over here. And the next one will be over here. Now, if I really, really wanted to make this, like, really, really small... I can then I can put like this torch under this block if I really wanted to, um, and put this chest like on top of it. Um, but I, it's I'm not here for like full out you know being the smallest design out there. So yeah, so I'm going to take the leap. I'm gonna place one of these bad boys down. I'm hoping I don't blow up because this is I'm just gonna. I'm just going to rage quit right now, edit the video, and upload it. But, uh... Oh, thank goodness. See, and this is the reason why I love creative mode. <laughs> okay. So right now, this is powering all the machines. So it's... Slowly gaining. So that's generating... So that's, a ge that's generating a lot. But... It's not really, I don't like that. But again, too, guys, I don't know, like, if there's anything better that I can do for these machines. Um, I could maybe possibly get another engine, put it right here. Um, I'm not, like, like I said, I looked at a bunch of tutorials. I looked on how to set these machines up, and I just used the parts that were already there. So uh, I'm going to leave this bare bone just in case that there is anything that there uh, that can be improved. Um, but I'm just going to go grab the other hybrid panels. I'm going to do two more. Because this is just how I have it in creative. So that's there. And then that's there. So that powers. Maybe it gives like a good power. 16. I jumped up 40. Yeah, so that's about 40 like a second. So that's kind of cool. And yeah, that, that's basically there. If I want to turn off everything, I just break the redstone torches. These things will power up, and then that's it. Um, these are all powering up. And now I'm really... Now, now it's all stranded. I cannot get into any of these blocks. <laughs> I can't get into where the magma crucible is. So that has to be... I'm hoping that's set up properly. Uh, like I said, I only need lava and water to start this machine. I think I should go for it. I'm, I'm going to go for it. I'll just turn everything off if it doesn't work. So this should work. Yes, it does. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Bam. So now we should have lava. And I might need two buckets, but I'm just going to go grab one bu bucket of water. Okay, so there, that's going to be making cobblestone, and it's already working. Look at this. So half of it's going to go in here. It's going to pulverize it and make sand or gravel, and it's already working. So there you go. So if I stand here for a couple of seconds, um, if we get gravel, we should see gravel. And the thing is, because I can't get into... Oh, there it is. Sweet. So there's gravel, and this thing needs about... 
one cobblestone, but it needs about uh, twelve thousand. So like this is that's why this uses three electrical engines. Uh, that's pretty hectic. So that's gonna go here, and then because there's no chest, uh, we gotta leave that right there. So I think I should have an extra chest in my storage over here. Do -do. There we go. There's, I'm just gonna use, uh, like I said, I'm gonna use basic chests for everything right now um, until I fully get this thing working. Then uh, we can upgrade certain devices to um, its appropriate, you know, device or block, whatever. So I could possibly leave this thing running and it will create what it's supposed to do. Um, as long as the chests do not fill up, we should. I could le endlessly leave this, um, because uh, why? Oh yeah, the only way that, that this machine will stop is if I was to depower the engines. So if I didn't want the pulverizer to pulverize anymore, then I turn it off. If I don't want the magma crucible making lava, then I turn it off. So. This is going to take a long time to uh, get everything done. So I'm going to leave this going for a while. Um, what can I do with sand? I know I can make glass, but what else can I do with it? Because that I don't know, <laughs> except that it generates sand. So if, if I can send sand to another machine, then perfect. But uh, yeah, so this is basically our final machine. Um, I showed you each part how to make it, how it's set up. Um, I think I've created the best of my abilities to make everything small and easy to, you know, work with. Um, this is definitely a hellhole. Um, I have this in my creative world. And if this thing breaks, if this thing breaks, this machine just goes all haywire. Um, so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the power again. Um, with this, the hybrid, whoever made this sign says it's capable of doing 128. So I can do some simple, you know, glass fiber cables. Just go like this, put my hybrid solar panel right here and there I'm done. Um, but again, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait for whoever did this. Um, I might even try and recreate it in creative to be honest. But to be honest, our diamond machine is made. The only thing I need to do is making, I need to make some of the ender chest to kind of finally complete the build. So lava is being added. It's perfect. So that's gonna have to build up all the time. And I think, like I said, I think I can leave these running because flint does take a long chance it's just the sand right now that might build up so i'm gonna leave this like i said i'm gonna leave this machine running before um i get off actually i'm probably gonna have to get off because i'm already done building but uh, i'm trying to think what else i can do but no yeah there's really nothing else i can do guys um i'm gonna end off this uh, episode right here it might be very very long so um yeah, so part two of the diamond machine is done. Our building phase is basically complete. Uh, the only thing I have to do now is just figure out f the power. Um, I just I want to make sure that it works. I don't want to blow anything up. So I'm going to puzzle this on my creative world and kind of copy what we have going on here. Um, and if it works, then there. Um, that's going to be easy to set up. And our next episode, we can probably maybe do some designing, you know, maybe just box it in make it all look nice and uh, that's gonna be that and hopefully we by the end of our next episode uh we will get some diamonds so oh yeah also the crafting table i need stuff to be made so again next episode will be the final setup um again this is not a tutorial guys so i'm i apologize if how to make this machine is in separate parts but you know that's just the way it is i don't really People don't ask to make tutorials for this, so I don't make them. So I apologize if anyone is mad about, you know, it being in parts. But that's just the way, that's just how the cookie crumbles. So I'm going to end off this episode right here, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is obviously the part two of the Diamond Maker machine. 
Um, if you guys want to see the next episode, uh, make sure to like uh, my Facebook and uh, follow me on Twitter. Those links will be in the description below um, for whenever I do upload the next part. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of Feed the Beast. I'm DJPrice9, and I'll see you guys in another video. I'm out. Peace.